What's going on you guys? Campers, we're getting ready to go into to Barnes & Noble right here. It's a really cool bookstore. They have games, board games, Dungeons & Dragons, role-playing, adventure games, but it's mostly books, magazines. But lately, they have updated their role-playing. If you guys know old school, like Dungeons & Dragons, like um, all that good, like the dice games and stuff, puzzle games, it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of it. I hope I don't get in trouble for filming in there. I'll try to be quiet about it. Um, I just thought I'd do a little video to show what's new and updated in the store. For, you know, those rainy days that you have nothing else to do. You get your friends together, play some cards, whip out the old Dungeons and Dragons board game. But again, let's go check it out. Camp Facer. <laughs> Like, look at this. I don't know if you're into Dungeons and Dragons, but they have like so many cool different colors. I used to play DD back in the day, but it's like coming back again. Not just Dungeons and Dragons, but like tons of different like role playing games. Down here, I thought this was pretty cool. This dungeon books of battle maps, mats rather. But it's like, you can see here. You basically have a layout of empty dungeons. You can see that. You can make up your own game. Kind of an easy way to create your own like role playing adventure game. Make up like a module and creatures and adventure. I thought that was pretty cool. Some more dice. Die. Yeah. And over here, there's some pretty cool like Pathfinder, more Dungeons and Dragons starter set. The Demo Gorgon. It's kind of like the, uh, Stranger Things edition. Yeah. I don't know if I would ever have time to get into like Dungeons and Dragons again, but like honestly, it was one of the funnest games to play with my friends. I used to have like all the old player guide, uh, handbooks, like the Dungeon Master Guide, the Monster Guide. Is a master's guide. They're all, these are like remade though. I used to have like the leather ones. The player's handbook. They, I used to have like the, the dwarves handbook, the fighter's handbook, all that stuff. I don't know if they're actually the same, like reprinted or kind of remade, redid did in a different way. But it's pretty cool that they got like, figures and stuff. It's pretty cool. This is cool. Oh, they got a cyberpunk. The world of cyberpunk 2077. I know the game wasn't that great, but well, the game was good, but it had a lot of Flaws. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Zelda Encyclopedia. They got so many graphic novels too, it's really cool. This Barnes and Noble definitely has a lot of cool stuff. I can only imagine what this is. It's like a Jaws board game? Yeah. 
interesting. I want to try this out sometime. Scooby-Doo Clue. Who doesn't like Scooby-Doo? And we got horrified. It's like a monster's adventure. One to five players. Here, look at this, you guys. We get back to the future. Let's see, this is kind of like uh, I get the DeLorean figures, the town, the clock tower, kind of like 3D model game. That looks interesting. Oh, ET puzzle. Lord of the Rings Trust. That's it. Star Wars Outer Rim. That looks very... Let's see, a lot of these games, they, they could be fun, but it takes time to get into them, and they're probably deep and expensive, but... I was kind of, uh get into like thinking about doing like rainy day games like this but a lot of time it says dune who remembers dune from the 80s that movie was awesome I used to own this game. You actually physically change the board. I like the Family Feud. The Grim Forest. Yeah, they have a lot of cool adventure, like games you're not gonna find anywhere else here. That's what I like about this place. Like all the graphic novels, the figures, the pop figures, Dungeons and Dragons. It's just my city. Is it kind of like a Sim City? Kind of build and invest in your city. Space Explorers, what's this? That's cool. <coughs> kind of like a vintage dead of winter. What's this like a zombie? Oh, that's cool. That's a cool looking game. Over here, you got some like cool like puzzles like kind of puzzle boxes and stuff. Kind of like a Rubik's Cube type boxes you gotta figure out. This is a coin. You gotta like break into like the tomb. Difficult levy, four, four out of five. They're like Chinese puzzle boxes. I used to own one of them that was kind of like this. puzzles and stuff yeah I was like coming here it's fun you need some money and then you need some again a good rainy day time on your hands all right well we're gonna split I hope this kind of give you guys a little show you guys a little bit of what's in this store all right, you guys, so we just got out of Barnes & Noble. 
And it was a spon spontaneous little uh, update uh, showing you guys some board games and stuff like that. Uh, I only showed you guys a little piece of that store. I mean, it's so big. They have so many books, novels, games, uh, records, toys, collectibles. They even they used to have uh, NECA, like Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, NECA there. NECA, NECA. But that particular store, I don't know if they got rid of them or I just didn't see them, but they used to sell those there as well. Um, again, I didn't want to get in trouble and be that guy for filming in the store. I know a lot of places get like, they don't allow that. So I didn't, I was trying to be a little bit discreet about it. And um, I at least got to show you a little part of um, the unique games, strategy games, D&D, &D, um, RPGs. They have a lot of underground, like independent companies too that I saw, I've never seen before in any other store. That's what's unique about Barnes & Noble. Again, if you are kind of in that mindset on a rainy day and you're like, ooh, let's try, you know, learn how to play these certain games. A lot of them are really expensive between the like $25 to $50 price. So it's kind of like, do you want to spend that much money? If you do, you have to really pick the game you're really gonna dive into. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed what I showed you guys. Um, Please like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. I appreciate it. I will be bringing new updates for new video games coming out like Evil Dead and Gun Media's new project. Whatever they're working on, maybe they'll hint something else new. And if they do, I will share the news. Um, please, please like and subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, campers, stay out of the woods.